getting back at you with another quick controller build. Um, hope you all are having a great day today. This video will not take long. It's something new we're adding to the site. Um, this is going to be a um, receiver build. This will be done with the Wizard of Wire um, uh, dumb receiver. This kit, uh, it, it's really simple. So basically the kit's gonna come like this. It'll be in a CG2000 box. Um, we will have the whole pre-drilled for your ethernet there. Um, when you get your kit, you're gonna find a couple bags of stuff. You'll find your, um, your pigtails that you need. You'll find a power cord that you need. A backing plate. You excuse the noise, there's a lot of traffic today. Um, your Ethernet wire, your Ethernet pass through, um, the cool little waterproof connector that we're selling now, some labels, your screw kit, and the Wizard of Wire um, dumb receiver board. Now, in this build, I'm only supplying. Um, the four outputs. I'm not supplying power injection, although this board does support power injection. There's two um, outputs for that. So that's kind of cool. Um, it'll do five and 12 volt. There's a, um, a pin here you pull off and slide it over for five volt, or you leave it there for 12 volt. So currently that's what the kit will include. Um, I am debating on whether or not to sell it with or without a power supply. Um, currently what you're gonna see on the website will not include the power supply. Um, but it will include the board. Um, we may um, make this an option and add a power supply in a little bit, but I'm still um, unsure on that. So without further ado, let's get this build going. It shouldn't take us more than about a few minutes. Um, so you're gonna get your backing plate. Now I will tell you, um, this is not actually the backing plate um, in this video that you'll be getting. Um, this is our backing plate for our standard receivers. Um, the one for our plate uh, will not have these extra holes in them. It'll have one single hole for the one hole in the board. Um, and we were actually ordered standoffs, but I had to get this video made. So I'll just describe what it's gonna be. And I mean, it's a receiver, so you guys should be able to uh, figure that out pretty easily. So um, here's your um, power supply, depends on where you get it. Um, it may or may not be flipped, but you wanna make sure you flip that to um, 110. And then we're just going to flip this over and we are going to get this on the plate. So again, you get your, your mounting hardware here and there's really not a lot to this um, controller build. It's, it's pretty nice. So we're just going to throw the screws in like that. Again, I always supply a couple extra screws in case you, you know, drop one, your cat jumps up on your stand while you're building stuff. You end up with, um, you know, losing a couple in the carpet. It's hard to say, but okay, back to this side. Now, what's really cool about these is you don't need that little jumper wire. Um, these are gonna go directly to the power supply. Um, I really do enjoy these. Um, I'm gonna use a screw gun for this. Um, you can use a screwdriver. But I use a screw gun for everything, so. So now the trick to these are, make sure you drill, if you are using a drill, it has like a torque thing, or uh, I guess I can't stop it. Uh, but this right here will stop on a click, which is what I really like about this Milwaukee. So you won't over torque the boards. So now we're just gonna set this right directly on here, which is pretty sweet. And screw this down. It's this simple. It's probably our, no, well, no, I think we're gonna do another video real quick. It's gonna be a little shorter than this one. This one's gonna be pretty short. Okay, 
So that is all for that. Now, what I'm not showing you in this build because I don't have it, um, there, that little hole, there's going to be a spacer and a bolt for this. Um, again, I, I, I apologize. Uh, they didn't come in. We've ordered a bunch of stuff and with everything in Texas and everything, we've had a lot of shipping delays over the last week. But there'll be a spacer with a bolt and a nut to go through here. Now, technically, you probably don't need it. I mean, the board's pretty solid. If you held on to the bottom, it'd be fine. But I'm just afraid, you know, if you push on it, you're gonna break the board off. So um, basically there'll be a spacer with a hole here and you'll just basically put the bolt in, slide the spacer in, tighten it up. Um, again, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it, it's, it's not real, not real difficult at all. So um, you get a couple zip ties. You're only really gonna need a couple. I put the zip tie through this hole here, okay? And um, let's bring this over here. And so here's your power cord. I run my power cord, make sure I'm still in the video here. I run my power cord up this side here. So we're gonna run this in. We're going to trim these back. And then we are going to strip it real quick. Just a little bit. they go on here. So line, neutral ground, so it's gonna be black, white, green. And again, I'm gonna use my screw gun. You guys can use a screwdriver. If you don't have a screw gun that has a torque setting on it. So that's it for that. Now what I like to do is grab my zip tie here and just zip tie my power cord down to the board, like that. Throw that away. Now we're gonna take the whole thing, like I said, normally you'll have that extra bolt in there, this one you don't. We're gonna slide this sucker right on in here like this, okay? And now grab your, your screws, and we're gonna put the screws in it to hold the plate down. And really all you need like four of these suckers is, it's not gonna go anywhere. There you go. And again, you'll probably end up with an extra one of these. Um, so you're good there. So now, there's the power, we're all set here. Next will be the pigtails. Um, Board is really nice. So you'll have these guys here. So we're gonna want to clip these like so. And we'll shrink them down here in a bit. And then we'll just slide these suckers on. So we're gonna go. This board is output one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna do one and two and then three and four out this hole. It just it don't really matter. How, what order you put them in, if whatever makes sense to you. But for me, I'm just gonna do them like this. And I'm gonna stick them through right here. And then we're gonna grab three here and four right here. And we're gonna put them up the next set of holes. I'll show you here in a second. And you'll see why we do this in a minute. Slide them through. So as you can see, we're through them two holes right there. Okay. Next, we're gonna put the old green connectors on these. And again, I use a drill. And these were not pretty backed off. I know I normally have these done for the videos. This color wire is going to go black, yellow, red on these. Um, no, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm correct. Black, yellow, red.
and black, yellow, red. But normally Zach has to put some music in here, but I'm doing a lot more than four. So this one right here, we can just play her through. Again, the whole video ain't gonna be, be very long, I don't think. Again, this kit will be hitting our store here pretty soon. If you're catching it on YouTube and you don't see it in our store yet, it's coming. Um, we're working on it. Now, since I don't have that bolt through right here, I'm gonna hold the bottom of this board just so I don't push down too hard. But basically, four, three, two, one. That's all that. So now I'm just gonna kind of pull these nice and neat. Like this, I kind of like to make them neat like that. Now I'll put the zip tie right here. And I like to put a zip tie here, so now if you pull on these, either one, you're not gonna be pulling on that board. And then the last part here is we're gonna put the ethernet gland in. Okay, so the ethernet gland goes in, rubber goes on, and then the little cap goes on, and then the nut goes on. Now I have a socket here I use, but you can use whatever you like. And generally I face mine inward like this, so they're headed into that. And then I'll just grab my, my cable here. I'm gonna plug in from there. We're gonna plug into the here. Okay, now that's all done. Now really the last step to this, we move all these screwdrivers out of the way. So we got like 1,500 of them going here. Um, This kit will also have the um, extra connector, which will go on here. I'm gonna do a quick video on that here in just a little bit. Um, is we want to power this sucker up and we want to set the, set the power supply. So we're gonna plug it in like this and it's gonna boot up with all kinds of pretty colors. We're gonna put our multimeter on the plus and the negative and we are going to turn the little screw back to 12 volts. There we go, 12 volts. And as you can see now, we have a completed controller. Um, that simple. That's um, all there is to building these. They're really quick and easy. And um, I have tested these particular boards. I've run these boards now for a full season. Um, they actually run some lights on my house um, 12 hours a night. And I have not had one failure out of these. There's been a few other guys that have been using them too, and from what I understand, if you just need a dumb controller, you're not after the ABC Smart, um, these things are, are pretty bulletproof. They're nice little boards. Um, and again, the boards come from um, Todd at Wizards of Wire. So, I mean, you can buy just the board from him if you want to do your own setup. Um, you just go to Wizard Wire site um, under boards. He has all different versions of this particular board. So, um, but other than that, I think that's it. So, um, another quick video here from CCL Controllers. We thank you for watching. Um, if you like our videos, please share them, um, subscribe, click the little um, do button wherever it says subscribe, the bell. The, we love you, you know, thumbs up, you know, the whole thing. Go ahead and, and hit all that, and uh, we'll be coming at you with another video shortly. Thank you very much.